Are you struggling to test your React component wrapped in with Router? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, and today we're going to break it down together. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when your tests don't render as expected, especially when you're trying to use lifecycle methods. You're in the right place to find a solution. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. A user asked how to test a React component that is enclosed within the WithRouter higher order component. They provided their component code and the test case they wrote, but they're stuck because the component isn't rendering deeply enough. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this. So what's going on here? When you wrap a component with WithRouter, it adds routing props, but it can complicate testing. The challenge is ensuring that your component renders correctly with those props during testing. Stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to test your with router components effectively, plus a bonus tip that will make your testing life easier. To begin testing the Manage Profile Page component, the user should first ensure that they are using the Enzyme library correctly. This involves configuring Enzyme to work with React. Next, the user should modify the test case to properly wrap the Manage Profile page component with the with router higher order component. This is essential for testing components that rely on router props. After wrapping the component, the user should ensure that the router props are correctly passed to the Manage Profile page. This includes mocking the router methods that the component uses. Finally, the user can run the test to verify that the Manage Profile page component renders correctly and that the snapshot matches the expected output. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of testing software dates back to the 1950s? It's amazing how far we've come in ensuring our code works flawlessly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that shallow rendering only goes one level deep which is a limitation of that method. Instead, they recommend using mount to render the entire component tree, although it won't allow you to limit the depth of rendering. They also advise exporting the base component separately from the higher order component. This way, you can test the base component directly with mocks for any required providers, similar to how you would test a connected Redux component. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative approach, suggested by another user, is to directly test the wrapped component of Manage Profile page. They recommend using the wrapped component property to access the component without the with router wrapper. Let's, let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach provided by a user involves adjusting the test case to include the match parameter. They suggest using this.props.match.params.id in the component and defining mini props in the test case. Here's a pro tip. Always write your tests with the end goal in mind. Think about how your component will be used in the real world and test accordingly. And there you have it. With these adjustments, your tests should now render your with router component correctly. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on React testing.